Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is another forecasting technique, whole winter additive model with seasonality, but with no trends. So when do we use it? Uh, when we have a time series with relatively stable seasonality and based on the equation F, the forecast number uh, of T plus K, number of periods that we want to forecast, is equal to level plus seasonality. S, T, period minus S, the number of uh, months of my seasonality. So if we are talking about or periods of our seasonality. So if we are talking about month, S will be 12. If we are talking about quarters, S will be four. Plus K, number of periods that we want to forecast. And then we work based on two components, alpha and epsilon, or alpha and beta. So that depends, it's more up to you. So the level component is, or, or A, T is alpha, times the actual number minus the st, so this one, t minus s. So if we are talking about monthly data, and I am on the 13th month, uh, is the minus s1. So for the first period of seasonality, we have some issues. We need to work with initial numbers, and then we cannot forecast for the first year. So when we are working with hot winters, we need at least two years of data. And that can be an issue for recent databases. Plus one minus alpha times the level component of the previous period. And the seasonal component, epsilon times actual number minus AT, so we need first calculate AT, then S, plus one minus epsilon times st minus s, so the same st minus s here. And then the forecast, we combine both. So it looks like a double uh, exponential smoothing. And then the first period, for the AT, it is a simple average of the first year. And then the st is the actual number minus AT. And then we update it to calculate our forecast. So let's go to our Excel file. Uh, so here, our number, so month, periods, I believe you don't, we don't need it. So, okay, that is how you see it. So revenue level, seasonality, forecast, and May for our error. So here, uh, let's assume here, wow, well, this May is pretty bad, more than 100%. So, okay. So first, let's give 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 as given alpha and epsilon. So, and then we will find a better one. So level the first year, the average of the first year of revenue. And then the seasonality, actual number minus level. For the second year, and then we have two years and then the two estimated numbers. Okay, so let's see. Uh, the first one, alpha times actual number minus the seasonality of one year earlier, plus one minus alpha times the previous level. And the second one, the seasonality, epsilon times the difference between revenue and level, so just like the seasonality for the first year, plus one minus epsilon times the first seasonality. So the one year earlier. And then we copy and paste to all of them. And to forecast, we combine the two. So we combine here, uh, we combine the level plus seasonality one year before. So if we go back here, 80 minus, uh, plus the S one year before. So plus these numbers here. So that is usually two years is not a very good one because we are combining initial numbers. So the older the database, 
the better. But we have only two ears, so okay. And then the MAP is the absolute difference of forecast minus uh, actual number or vice versa divided by the actual number. And then we have the average or the MAPE here. So this is the percentage error or the absolute percentage error. And here is the average. And then to forecast, we go on this one, A plus S one year earlier. For the second, the same level because we don't have another one, but plus the second month and so on. However, how do we know if 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 are the best numbers? We go on with solver. Let me reset it. Okay. So, first we need to minimize our error. So, minimize the error here by changing these two cells. And then we solve it. And we have here a 0 and 0 0.8. We will not have very good uh, Y's, uh, epsilon here because, as I told you, we are working with these numbers. So the 0 0.8 solver will not work. And then it will try a 0, 12, 12%. 12 so uh, no level or no, uh, the same level and only changing the seasonality. So that would be the optimum number. Let's keep with 0 0.6 and 0 0.8, or here is 0 0.7 and 0 0.8. And then let's run this over again if we have different numbers. No zero, so okay, that is the optimal number here. But let's keep 0 0.6 to make it pretty. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have questions or comments, uh, just Leave them here or email me. Uh, have a very nice day and God bless you.